Are you new to Utah? Loaded in one of your first USTs, hit those buttons with the red and blue lines on the top, and now there's an exclamation point. Well, good news. All you have to do is click. Okay, sometimes clicking it will fix it, but other times it won't. Now, Utao is mad that an envelope is twisted. An envelope is this overarching green line that you see when you highlight a note. On your screen, it'll be blue. It controls how the note fades in or out and how loud the note is. To edit the envelope, we right click on the note and click envelope. Another way to do this is highlighting the note and hitting control Y. This is what I mean by twisted. While it's a milder example, Utal still considers it in need of fixing. And the reason for that is because it's a triangle shape. Now, why is that a problem, you ask? Because Utal likes trapezoid shapes, just like this. So, how do we fix it? Well, we go in here and we play around with these and make it a trapezoid. And now Utal's happy again. Alternatively, you can fix it by editing the next note in the song. Right click on the note after the one with the problem and hit property. You can also reach the property page by clicking on this note and hitting control E. Just make sure you have the correct note selected. Then lower the value in this box labeled preutterance. It's 110 right now, so we're going to make it 100 and see if that fixes the problem. So lower the value, hit OK, and then we go back to that first note and hit the exclamation point. And we see that it went down. Now if it doesn't go down, just go back in here and lower it further. So let's try 90. So yeah, as you can see, this is a more extreme example. You probably won't ever come across one this extreme. So these two are crossed over each other to make an X. And this one isn't even on the page. Usually it would be right here. So we could just grab it and drag it over here. But since it's not, we're going to do it with these numbers. Now this one all the way over here is P3. We're just going to lower the number of P3 to get that back on the screen by deleting the third number. So it comes from the hundreds to the tens. And now it's that trapezoid shape again. I should add that you can still play notes even with the twisted envelope. Utah won't stop you. Sometimes I leave it twisted on some short CV notes because in my opinion, it sounds better, but only very rarely. This is the difference between how it sounds twisted and untwisted. Let's do those two steps again, but quicker so you can get a feel for it. That's method one, and then this is method two. I personally prefer the second method. I feel like it's a bit cleaner and solves the, the original problem better, but that's how you fix it. Hooray, that's the end of the tutorial. Remember to check the description for any updates or corrections. And next, we're going to talk about how this happens and why. Remember, this all looks intimidating, but it's very simple. First, let's talk about what all this is, starting with these vertical lines. If you are brand new, then all you need to know is that this is where the consonant sound happens in CV and VCV voice banks, right between these blue and green lines. It sounds like k and s. This pink horizontal line represents loudness. It's the volume the Utah was recorded at. Now I'll show you three common reasons people will edit an envelope. Number one, softening the consonants. If your note has a very harsh consonant, then you can drag the dot further toward the green line, or if you want it almost non-existent, you can drag it beyond the green line. The further you drag, the quieter it is. Here's an example of softening a consonant. Here we have de. This is what it sounds like without editing. <laughs> and then here, if we want to soften the consonant, since a very, it's a very short one, we can drag it past that green line a little. And then if it would want it even softer, we can drag it a little further, like this. See, compared to the first one. Number two, fading out the end of the note. One reason people do this is to mimic how a singer's voice naturally fades at the end of a line. 
This is most commonly used when the utau ends on a vowel, like how it ends on a uh, here. Let's do an example. This is how it sounds unedited. And then here, if we soften how it ends by dragging this end one in, this is how it'll sound. And then you can play around with how sharp or dull of an ending you want. Number three, increasing or decreasing volume. If you pull the second to last dot downwards like this, it will make the note become quieter as it goes on and vice versa. So this is it becoming quieter. If we pull it this way, the note will become louder with time. You can also edit the entire volume of a note outside of the envelope editor by dragging this green line up and down. On your screen, it'll be blue. The number here is the loudness of the note. 100 means 100% 100 volume, 50 is half of its original volume, or 50%, and so on. This is how a note sounds over 100%. And then this is lower than 100. Fun fact, with some resamplers, if it's set to zero, you can still hear some audio. Like that. Now that we know what an envelope does, let's talk about how the envelope becomes twisted in the first place. Before we start, we need to remember that pre-utterance plays the biggest role in deciding how long the start of an envelope is. And by start of an envelope, I mean where it overlaps with the previous note. Twisting happens because the entire length of a note, this note here, is shorter than the pre-utterance of the note after it, this note here. If we highlight this note, we can see that its envelope stretches all the way back before the note full starts. We can shorten the envelope by making the pre-utterance smaller in the properties menu, like we did earlier. So we're going to change it from 100 to 10 to 100. Now the envelope of this note isn't stretching so far beyond the previous note that Utau has a problem with it. See, now it's fixed. Each note has a default pre-utterance. That means in the oto.ini file, there's already a set number of how far it will come out into the previous note. So see how in these two notes, it's not a problem because there's enough space for the entire pre-utterance to come out. Here's another way to visualize how this works. See this note we had the problem with before? Well, if we make it longer, now the pre-utterance of the second note has enough room in the first note that it doesn't extend beyond it. So there's enough room for both of them, and your tau no longer has a problem. <laughs> this doesn't mean the default length of the preutterance is a bad thing. The envelope is how Utau blends notes together. Let's listen to what happens when a default preutterance is really short. So we're going to do that by making this preutterance really short. Let's make it maybe 20 and see how it sounds. B, B. See how that sounds choppy? Let's play it normally. Beep, beep. Hear the difference? That's all for today. If I got anything wrong or there's something you want to add, feel free to add a comment. Also feel free to comment with any questions. Happy tuning! Bye!